to the back, exhale to the front, keeping my feet flat on the ground as I'm making this movement, tilting the pelvis, mobilizing it, and using my knees for support as I pull them to get up. So keeping the feet flat on the floor, that is heels and toes, and come up. A few more times, we're gonna let go of the knees. Inhale, and do that without holding on to the knees. Inhale, exhale, come up. Inhale, round, exhale, reach forward and up. Two more, inhale, exhale, reach up. And last one, exhale, reach up and down. We're gonna go down to the elbows. And we're going to lift one leg, engage the abs, lift the other. So now, we're gonna do single leg drop. We point down, touch the floor barely, and lift up. We don't want to rest the feet like this and then lift. We want to keep the abs engaged. The minute we rest the foot on the floor, the abdominal muscles relax and then you have to start again. When you barely touch and you're dynamically moving your legs down and up, and make sure you're keeping the 90 degrees on the back of the knees as you do that, as opposed to bending this, that's not doing much for the abdominals. So, we're going to do two more. I feel my abs, my low abs especially, and then we're gonna stop. Now we're gonna go down and up. Notice I'm not reaching the floor because it's very hard for the abs and it can be dangerous for your low back. So you just go as far as you can. Maybe you can go down to here and up, or down to here and up, but believe me, I cannot reach the floor. If I want to challenge myself, I'll do it, but I have to be very, very careful that my abs can keep my low back happy and healthy. And now I'm done. We're gonna go down and we're going to lift the pelvis to a shoulder bridge. Inhale first, neutral pelvis, hip bones, pubic bone on the same horizontal plane. Little bit of arch gap between the low spine and the floor. So, long arms, lower the shoulders, neutral cervical spine, don't bring the chin too close to your chest, don't tilt your head up, neutral. Your feet, your knees, your hip bones at the same width, parallel legs. Take a deep breath in. On the exhale, draw your belly in, imprint the low spine, start lifting the tailbone. The, low, the sacrum, the low spine, the middle spine, all the way until you form a straight line from the shoulders to the knees. Lengthening the arm as if the fingertips want to reach to the knees. Try not to relax your legs, keep the inner thighs engaged so that you keep the space between the knees and the feet the same. Inhale before rolling down, exhale, sh softening the shoulders, elbows, bringing the upper back one vertebra at a time down to the low spine and finally release back to neutral spinal position. Pelvis is in neutral. We're going to do it three more times. Inhale, prepare, 
exhale, draw the belly in, imprint the low spine, lift the tailbone, lift the sacrum, lift the low spine, lift the middle, just like that, in that order. When you're up, take a deep breath in, extending your spine and arms, and then relax the shoulders, the rib cage, the sternum, rolling down from the top, rounding the top spine until the low back is on the floor. Neutral pelvis is the end. And two more times, inhale. On the exhale, draw the belly in, imprint. Continue to peel the Spine off the floor, one vertebra at a time from the tailbone to the upper back. Now in here, when you're up, make sure that your weight is only on your feet and the back of your shoulders and arms. Take a deep breath in before rolling down, exhale. Bring the vertebras one by one right back to where you lift it up. Last time, inhale. On the exhale, imprint, tilt the pelvis, lift the tailbone, and continue to peel the spine off the floor. One vertebra at a time, all 32 of them. Inhale, fold it here, exhale, softening the shoulder girdle rolling down. And now we're going to bend the leg, bring the knee to your chest and extend the other leg far like a beam. Lifting your head and shoulders and starting to the leg, single leg stretch. Lift some more. As you do this, you can feel how your spine is more flexible and you can round it some more on the top. And now we're going to support the head, continue with the legs. Inhale, exhale. Keeping the elbows not closed, not open, just Round it like your head is resting on a hammock. You should be able to see the elbows from the corner of your eyes while you're moving. Only the legs are moving. And we're going to stop here with crease and we're going to do the crisscross. So be sure that you turn twist, bringing the shoulder to the opposite bent knee, not the elbow. Elbows remain at the same width. We're not closing or opening. We're not doing that, not winking. Just turning, lifting the shoulder towards the opposite bent knee. Inhale one, exhale the other, inhale one. I like to do it about 12 times, but you could do eight, if eight is too much, do four, but try to get to at least eight repetitions. And then you would feel your abs and obliques really working hard. We're gonna slow down and stop. With one leg at a time to the floor. And this time we're gonna lift the pelvis with one straight leg straight up to the ceiling or to the sky. So bring this foot on the floor a little bit closer to you because you're gonna need to support or push the floor down as you lift your pelvis and leg up. So you want to keep this foot in a real good standing position. This will not be good. This is not going to be good. Okay, so take a deep breath in and up and down. Up and down. So this foot is pushing the floor. 
floor. I'm trying to stabilize my pelvis so it goes up and down, not wobbling to the side. The back of my arms are pushing the floor down as I lift my pelvis. On the inhale, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Let's do two more. And I'm already feeling my quads and glutes working. Then rest it on the floor, bring the other one to tabletop position, stretch it, bring the leg closer to your body, and here we go. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Push the floor down as you lift the pelvis and the leg. And up and down. So this knee is struggling a little bit, so I made an adjustment, moved the foot away from my body, and it feels better. So you have to listen to your body. You know that the body has an intelligence of itself. It has a language, you just have to understand that language and make the adjustment according to your understanding. Okay, we're gonna do two more. I'm not sure how many times I lifted and lowered my pelvis, but my low back feels better now. I'm gonna stretch my legs. So that feels good. Inhale and exhale, coming up. So rolling, this is gonna be a nice stretch now. Inhale. The body is in the shape of the letter U. And on the exhale, draw the belly in, roll down, roll down, roll down, roll down. Inhale up and exhale, coming up. Inhale. And now I'm going to do the arms in a different way, the classic way. Inhale, hold, exhale, shh. Inhale, exhale, roll down. One vertebra at a time. When the shoulders reach the floor, that's when the arms go over the head. And here is a real good um, tip on how to do it right. Take an inhale, bring the arms to the ceiling. On the exhale, you're gonna lower your arms, lifting the head and shoulders and hold it. Take another inhale and on the exhale, come up forward, 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 reaching to that U-shape position. Watch this again, inhale. Exhale, draw the belly in, lower the shoulders, lower the chin. You can stop here, take another inhale. On the exhale, pull the navel to the spine, bring the low spine to the floor, middle spine to the floor, upper, shoulders to the floor, head to the floor, arms over the head. Inhale up, exhale, you can bend your knees if you need to, and then stretch them. Inhale, exhale. Stop here, inhale again, exhale, lower the shoulders, chin down, and then when the shoulders hit the floor, then you take the arms over the head. Inhale, exhale. You can also hold your body, grab to lift. Now this is the right way, that's where you want to try and get. But you have to listen to that body of yours. So I didn't bend anything. I did it in one breath cycle, the whole movement. One more time, inhale, exhale to come up. 
Inhale before rolling back. Exhale, dropping the shoulders. Inhale, one more time in sitting position. Exhale. And now just reach to your toes and stretch. Drop the shoulders, drop the head. Find the feel good position for you. So if you can reach the toes, just wrap your fingers around your ankles or here, wherever you can. But try to get to a stretch. It feels wonderful. Now I'm going to stretch some more by holding my toes, pointing them and flexing them. While I'm holding my toes, I'm also stretching and nourishing the myofascia layer in my body. Stretching is nourishing and nurturing the body. Now we're going to lift one leg lift the other and walk back to yourself. Walk your feet back to yourself. Inhale, round, and then walk away. Lift and walk, lift and walk. Baby steps at the end, stretch. Hold that, two full breath cycle. Feel the air pushing my rib cage to the side and the back. Feels really good. Lift and walk. 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 Round. Feel the stretch in your upper back. Lift the heel. Walk away. Lift the heel. Other heel. Other heel. Other heel. Other heel. Baby steps and then stretch as much as you can. Doing it several times, you will notice that you can each time stretch some more. I'm gonna stop here, take a deep breath in. And from here, I'm going to do this um, front, what's that, what it's called? Front support. So my palms, my fingers are facing my body, not to the side, definitely not to the back. So my elbows are bent. I can start by doing this. Inhale up, exhale down, in between you can lift the palms, press them down, and then inhale, lift, exhale, down, thumbs up, thumbs down, lift, down, thumbs up, thumbs down. One more time, you can continue like that, or do it with straight legs, and here we go. Inhale, up, exhale, down. Inhale, up, exhale, down. So the whole weight of my body is on my triceps, my arms, and I am feeling my triceps, and I'm going to lift and hold, pointing the toes, and it's important not to allow the head to drop to the back, but keep the muscles in the neck, in the neck engaged, or just look down. But it's really 